Peace and many blessings to you. It's your boy Debo Mob Tanner, aka Darius D of Interface Mastery. I'm just coming to you today with a quick run through on a program called Mixpad, which is a free studio recording software. It's not completely free, but it's free enough to get the job done. If you just want, if your main goal is just to record, not mix and master or anything like that. If you just need studio recording without having to pay for studio time, and that way you'll be able to bounce everything out and send it to your um, mix engineer, this would be a good start. So you can use the link that's in the description box or Google NCH Mixpad, and it should be the first one to pop up. But since I'm on a MacBook, of course, I'll have the Mac download here. But if you're on the Windows, you'll just go on the website and they'll have um, other versions, Windows and all that good stuff. But anyway, since we're on a Mac, we're going to go ahead and download the Mac version. You click Mac download, real simple. I'm just going to save it to the desktop for video purposes. Alright, now that you got Mixpad downloaded, we're going to install. So, what you do is, you right click, or double click on the installer, and it'll pop up. On the Mac, you click Mixpad, and you drag it into your application folder. Once you hear that sound there, you know you moved. Alright, let's move on. Now I have it in my application folder. It'll pop up here. Click open. And voila, you have Mixpad. Let's close this out. Make it a little bigger. All right, this is pretty simple, straightforward. First thing you want to do is set up your microphone. I'm assuming you all are using a interface with an XLR microphone. If not, you can use a USB mic or you can use the microphone built in into your computer. Doesn't matter as long as you have a mic. Next, you want to click on this little wrench right here and you're going to set up your recording device. Since I'm using a Scarlett, I'll click on that one since that's where my microphone is. And you want to record in mono. Um, I'm not going to be using any MIDI, so I'm not going to worry about that. You click apply. Settings to all the tracks. You click OK. Now that you have your microphone set up, You'll click on the record button here. Now that you see, check, check, check. Wahoo. All right, now you see that your vocals are coming through your microphone into the interface, into the computer, into the DAW. Now, your next step, import your beat. Now I can show you how to import the track manually but the easiest way since I'm trying to make it quicker which is going to drag and drop I got a beat on my desktop that I made quick draw you can check it out on my YouTube channel quick draw all right you drag oh my bad you click there we go drag drop and I automatically process everything for you now you got everything dragged and dropped in there. I'm going to move it to the beginning. I don't know if I can move this track up and down. Doesn't matter. Anyway. All right. Now you got your instrumental. And you have your vocal track here. So I'm just going to play the instrumental first. Just so you can hear uh, the beat playing. Which play and stop is space bar. So, to play. All 
All right. Let me see you got the beat. So now, since you're ready to record and you have your track armed, in fact, you might want to name this. So I'm just going to say uh, main underscore Vox for main vocals. You'll know that's your main vocals right here. You can change the color of it. It's going to turn it red. Okay. Since that's blue. Next. The easy part. Well, the part that you're waiting for. Right here under home, click record. Check, check. Wahoo. Ah. Uh -huh. All right. Just a couple ad lips. Not too much for y'all. But uh, now you have your vocal recording, your instrumental. You just. Click over here, and you press play for playback. All right, so you see how that works. Now, if you just want to listen to the instrumental, I mean the um, vocals itself, you just hit solo. Once you hit solo, only thing will play is this track here. I think you can turn the. When you're not recording, I usually turn this off so you don't have a whole bunch of um, echo. All right, there you go. You have your vocals and you have your instrumental. Now, if you want to record another track, you'll arm that track, name it, uh, we'll name it Dubs. All right, so same thing. Make sure you take the solo off. And this is the only track that's recording. Make sure this isn't click or you'll be recording over what you just previously recorded. So you'll come with the dubs. Same thing. You hit record. Check, check. Wahoo. Mob Tanner. All right, so boom. Now you got your main vox, you got your dubs. I'll just name this beat. All right, now you got everything set up. You can play that back. Unarm your track. All right, pretty much, pretty straightforward, right? All right, now this right here is the volume. You can turn the volume up and down. So, of course, you want your dubs a little lower than your main vox. So I'll put that on like negative six. I'll drop this down to like negative two dB. All right, one important thing that I did forget to tell you, and I apologize, is something that you should do in the very, very beginning. So it's something that you can do constantly after each step you do you go up here to file and you save don't forget to save so i'm just going to name this demo just for demo purposes actually where you want to save it to by default it's a mixed pad projects but i'm just going to be a pack rat and i'm slapping on the desktop just for demonstration purposes now, what I usually do is I always create a new folder to make sure everything is all together. So, I'll name the folder demo as well. So, now you have a folder named demo. And you have the track named demo. And you save it. Now that you have everything saved and ready to go, say you recorded all your verses and ad-libs and dubs, everything sounds good and you're ready to bounce it to an mp3 file so you can you know listen to it figure out what's your next step what you'll do is you'll go up to export mix you figure out where you want to save it to now this is going to the desktop demo folder that i just created and it's going to call it demo now by default, it will save as a WAV file, but if you're going to put it on your cell phone or anything like that, I suggest 
MP3 file, especially if it's just for listening. Now, once you change it to MP3, save to the right place, you click export. All right, now that's done, you can cancel that. Save again, don't forget, save. And now you can exit out of Mixpad. Now you go to your desktop and you open up the folder that you just made. Now you have the demo project. You have other session files. Then you have your MP3 that you just bounce with your vocals with the beat. Check, 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 check. Wahoo. Wahoo. Mob panel. Uh huh. And there you have it. That's how you download, install set up, record, playback, and bounce out in Mixpad. Now, if you play back and you listen, there's something you want to change, you just go back to your session file, and you double click it, and it'll pick up right where you left off. So if you decide the dubs was too low, you want to turn them up, or you want to turn your main box down, or whatever you want to do, you can edit and export out now when you get ready to send to your mix engineer always remember send individual files now this might take a little bit longer but it'll be easier on your mix engineer and save you a little more money in the long run so you'll mute everything but the track that you want to export out so this is the only track here. And you'll just export each track individually, but you'll name the file the track name. So, for instance, when I bounce this out, this is the main box, which you click export. All right, here's where you change the name. So, since this is the main box, you type in main underscore box. Save. Now, when you send it to your mix engineer, make sure it is a dot wave file. Dot wave file. That's the best sounding audio. Okay. Then you press export. I didn't save it in the correct place, but oh well. Now you just have just your main vocals. Check, check. Wahoo. Huh? All right. Now, once you've done that to every single track, you'll create a folder. Just say these two are the tracks. You'll create a new folder. You name it. Uh... Rawbox underscore demo since that's the name of the track. Now you have every vocal stem track in this session. Once you have that, you'll compress that, attach it to an email, send it to your mix engineer, preferably me. I'll get you sounding right. And then your journey begins. I hope you enjoyed the video and you find it very informative and helpful. If so, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can stay tuned for all of the new updates. And also check out my other videos. I got a lot of new beats that I will release every single week, a new beat every week. And I'll also be posting um, videos on mixing and mastering. I'm also going to do a series on Pro Tools First, which is, which is another vocal program. I mean, the DAW program that's pretty popular. 
So if you have any other video ideas, let me know down in the comment box and I'll get back at you then. Alright? Peace and blessings. Stay safe.